No, it's it's not. Hold on, was I supposed to wait till the end of the video to say that? This topic has been a really big deal recently inside of the community surrounding the back rooms, and the fan base has essentially been divided into like three different groups. You got the people who think the backrooms concept is ruined, it's over. You got the people that think that the new levels and creations and everything that are added to the lore makes it better. And then you have me, the third side, or as I like to say, the Brugley side, that thinks it's not ruined and it's actually getting better. But some parts are worse than the other parts. And in this video, I will be explaining what I mean by that statement. I'll be getting into my thoughts, my beliefs, and everything like that about the current state of the backrooms and why I do not think it's ruined and why I think it has a long, lustrous life ahead of it. Stick around if you enjoy. Leave your thoughts in the comments below. Don't make it a war zone down there. We can be friends. So first, I'm going to talk about uh, both arguments of it being ruined and it not being ruined. And then you'll hear my take after. I'm going to speed run through this. Let's just get to it. Back in 2019, the original Backrooms picture was released. And not one person could have predicted the extent to which it's grown to. No one could have ever imagined that all this lore and world building and this concept could evolve like it has from one single picture. It's grown into lore and articles and there's been an entire style of internet media born from that first picture being found footage. Now, found footages were a thing, obviously, before, but Kane Pixels popularized found footages for everything. Then there's videos like the videos I make and like Mr. Ferrante used to make and all those other creators. Those kind of videos for the lore exist too. There's so much media that has come from one single picture. And when the backrooms first started, there was that one level zero picture. And eventually there was about nine levels. Now here is where people start to dissent a little because a lot of people believe that the original nine levels are realistically all that the backrooms is as a concept. They think that nothing after is canon, they think that nothing after is real, and that everything that's not in that is trash and should not be a thing. Moving on into 2021 and 2022, there is a huge skyrocket in backrooms media that was obviously focused and aimed towards more of like a children's audience. Things like Poppy Playtime in the backrooms, Charles the Choo Choo Train in the backrooms, Giga Chad in the back rooms, Among Us in the back rooms, you know what I'm talking about. Useless things with CGI monsters running around level zero. It's pretty much what it was. Now, obviously, this stuff takes away from the original premise of the back rooms. It does. That's just a fact. I'm, I'm not going to argue that. And after seeing all of that happen, many of the OG fans of the back rooms kind of stopped following along. They got bored. They got tired of it. They think it's just a big piece of fiction run by children because of those new videos. They say that these videos and all the lore combined with the people in the backrooms and the groups and everything like that took away from the original liminality of the entire thing. They said it detracts from the original horror and that you'll experience in the backrooms, which I can actually see somewhat. I'm not, I'm not disagreeing. It definitely takes away some of that. The other argument from the fans of the backrooms still, they say that the levels and the entities and the creatures and the groups, they make the backrooms better. They add world building. They flesh out lore they make everything more cohesive they make things more interesting to learn about I can see that side of the argument too I really can but whether or not you think it's ruined or whether or not you think that all the new lore makes it better now it's time for you to hear what I think about it I believe that the back rooms is currently better than it's ever been and I'm not even being biased or anything like yeah I do make backrooms videos that's my career and job on here but I genuinely have this opinion that it is better than it ever has been in 2021 when I started to make videos on the backrooms levels and lore there was hardly even any pictures or much less videos about what I was talking about most of the entries for levels and creatures and objects they all they had was descriptions they didn't even have images or world building at all I pretty much had to just randomly guess what it was supposed to look like or look up Google Google images based off of what the description was, so I, I didn't have much to go off of. There was no immersion per se. The only immersion you could get was from reading the articles and making stuff in your head what you think it was talking about. Eventually people started putting pictures and videos and more 
you know, better descriptions to their articles. And that started to flesh out the lore better. Now, back then in 2020 and 2021 and two, it for sure was nostalgic. I'll admit it. It was very nostalgic. And there's a lot of happy memories and a lot of good feelings about that time period when it comes to Backroom's lore. It was a great time. It'll never be redone again. Nothing will ever feel like that specific time. And I will agree that there has been some pretty dumb stuff that's been added to wikis and added on YouTube and added to lore that probably shouldn't exist in the lore. There's levels that shouldn't exist and creatures that aren't written the best and there's just general things that do detract from that original liminality. But the problem is, this does not ruin the concept. Because my friend, the original concept and original foundation is still there. In fact, now, I would venture to say, as I've said, it is getting better and getting closer to that original concept. The main premise is still intact and it's still there. When you open up a fandom to everyone, to literally anyone, you're going to have to realistically expect that some things are just going to be goofy. You know, there's going to be some things added to the lore from the fan base that isn't up to par or up to your standards. And that happens with every single thing on the internet. Like, that's just a basic fact. You can't get away from it, and you're never going to get away from it. It's just the facts. And you just can't expect every single edition to be, you know, mint. You can't expect Shakespeare to come down and write everything with this burning pen, you know? It's not going to be the best every time. And that's normal, and that's necessary. It has to be a thing. For instance, I enjoy a lot of the SCPs. I also don't like some of the SCPs, but those SCPs I don't like don't take away from the fact that the SCP Foundation is really cool. And it, I really enjoy reading it and talking about it and learning about it. And I don't ruin the concept of the SCP Foundation in any way. Much like how some of the creatures and some of the entities and people and groups in the back rooms, yeah, they're not the best, but they don't take away from the amazing concept of this liminal hellscape that we can explore together. The back rooms as a whole is the biggest piece of collective fiction maybe ever, definitely in the past few years on the internet, and it is truly amazing that we get to explore this and enrich ourselves in the lore, and it is one of the only community-built things that's lasted as long as it has. And that's for a reason, because people genuinely are intrigued by it. Especially me, if you can't tell. Now, the Backroom's lore isn't, you know, the best or most perfect thing ever. And lore that's obviously made for kids or videos that are made for kids and found footage and stuff that's made for children. Yeah, that does detract from some things, but it doesn't detract from how good the entire concept is. So I don't think you can say that the Backrooms is ruined because of these videos. I don't think that's fair to people who aren't a fan of those videos. On the other hand, many of the, you know, bad entries or worse entries to the Wikidot, to the fandom, the, the levels and entities on there, they've been rewritten or changed or fixed. To be much better and i think that if you haven't checked out the wiki daughter fandom or any wikis in like the past six months then you probably need to go back and check them because genuinely there is like a renaissance of good levels and creatures and entities and objects all that stuff it is getting so much better and so much more entertaining and it really feels and has that feeling of the original backrooms. And I don't think we ever lost that. I think that it was just maybe muddied up a little bit during 2021 and 2022. I think it might have been a little bit, you know, changed or whatnot, but still those core ideas have never left. They've always been there and they always will be there. The wikis and all this stuff have been consolidated and cleaned up. Genuinely, things are getting better. And it's really cool to see the community come together and kind of just you know, clean everything up and, and make it more appealing. I can get the point of view that having, you know, hundreds of levels and creatures and objects might detract from the lore and it might ruin the intrigue and the loneliness and like the entire premise to some people. But to those people who believe that way, here's what I have to say. The original premise and liminality of the concept of the backrooms, it still exists. It didn't go anywhere. Like, it, it didn't just disappear off the face of the planet. It's still there, I promise. It's right there for you to read about. You know, the OG levels are still there. The new levels that are liminal and intriguing, they're still there. Everything is still there. The things on YouTube, like found footages and weird games and stuff that are, you know, obviously like for small children, that does not take away from the fact that we have the best, you know, some of the best world building and some of the best fiction work ever collective fiction work ever here in this in this fandom and i get that when things stop becoming niche and they start getting out to bigger audiences that you might lose interest or you might lose that kind of like secretive feel and that happens with everything you know you never want like you, you if you find like an underground artist or something you really don't want them to blow up because you know when they do you know they're gonna get the fake fans and it's just gonna get bigger and everything's gonna kind of just get muddled and stuff and that happens with everything like you're not you're not alone in feeling that 
like when the backrooms was niche, yeah, it was super cool to have this really small, you know, condensed thing that we could all, you know, look at and learn. But you can't really expect it to to stay like that forever. And it's kind of just unrealistic to think that. Like I said, I completely understand both sides of the argument, but I'm encouraging a centralized, more normal approach to this argument. So many cool new levels and creatures and entities have been added recently. And because some people, if uh, they thought it was ruined last year, they haven't really looked into it. They haven't checked it back out in a while. And for those people, if you're watching, I, I really encourage you to you know check out the wiki dot and fandom and liminal archives and everything like that. Check it all out. Like stuff is stuff is cool, man. And I think that you're doing yourself a disservice by by not checking it out. I, I think if you're genuinely interested and in, and in see if it's still the uh, the thing you might enjoy, you should check it out for sure. Anyways, I say all of this to say that the backrooms is indeed getting better and better. Like I truly actually believe it. It's not perfect, and it never will be perfect because obviously nothing is perfect. You, you literally can't have perfection. It's impossible. The liminality is still there. The horror is still there. The loneliness is still there. This beautiful hellscape of things that look familiar, things that are, that are confusing, things that are similar, things that are nostalgic. It's all still here. And it's all being implemented in new and different ways. So I encourage you to not let these, you know, kid videos or these found footages or these bad levels or entities or groups to take away from that because the core ideals are still there and they're always going to be there. Those people that think anything past, you know, level nine is not canon or there's nothing good past those. Like I encourage you to look up uh, level 100 on the wiki dots or level 13 on the fandom. Just check them out. Level 404 too. Just, you know, check them out. And the same thing goes with entities. You know, not all entities are written perfectly and they're not all flawless. But there are still a ton of good ones, you know, like Smilers and Insanities and Camo Crawlers and just there's too many to name. There's so much good lore. I think it's also important to realize that the concepts are going to change over over the years. And that's just inevitable with every single thing that happens in life. Everything changes. Staying still and being the same is, is physically impossible. So it, it's really unrealistic to think that this this backrooms concept is going to stay the same as it was at the beginning forever. And I'm, I'm right there with you. Like, I love that original, that liminal feeling, that niche ARG that we all knew and loved and, and the creepypasta that we all fell in love with. That concept is amazing. And to me, it's still there. You can still see it shining through a lot of the lore that's been made. Like I've said this entire video, these new additions that are that are children focused and, and these new, you know, random websites that are adding lore and stuff, that's there because that's just a it's gonna happen. It's gonna happen when it gets out to a big audience. But at the end of the day, you know, the, the main websites, the found footages, everything like that, it all collectively is this goofy, silly amazingness that we have of the backrooms. And that, that's what the backrooms is, man. It's just it's just this weird, strange place that that nothing makes really any sense at. And to try to make sense of it would just ruin it. So, and that's not what we're doing with all the levels. You know, every all the new levels and creatures and everything that makes everything make less sense. And that's what I love about it. That was kind of fire, actually. That was that was off the dome, unscripted. Like I said about, like I said about things becoming, you know, not niche anymore. I, I think it's our job as a community to, you know, come together collectively and and agree on things. And and saying one side is better than the other side isn't good. It's it's antithetical. It's not good. It's, it's bad for the entire community. So I think you should take everything from a centralistic standpoint and you could see the good and bad and everything. Yes, the original Backrooms is great. It's still there. Yes, some new levels are bad. Yes, some new levels are amazing. It's all there. Every extremist point is going to have some flaws with it. But if you take that centralistic, you know, good viewpoint of seeing the good in both sides and seeing the bad in both sides, then I think you're going to be better. And I think the community as a whole would benefit from that. For instance, those people that believe that, you know, the first nine levels is all that there is and anything past it is is not canon or whatever. That Well, first of all, there is no canon that's already been established. Uh, there's plenty of different canons. You can make your own canon. It's all collectively the back rooms, this infinite exploration that we can do forever. This, this fiction that we can create and cultivate, it's all there. And some of the original ones are boring. You know, some of them aren't the best. And for people that believe all the levels are crazy, yeah, some of the new levels are crazy and not that, not that good. But the vast majority of new lore and of new levels and everything like that is, is good. It's, it's great. It adds to it. It doesn't detract. It makes everything cooler, makes everything more fleshed out. 
the world building's there, and it really sticks to those core ideas that the original fans like. The backrooms will never be what it was uh, from, 19, from 2019 to 2020. They just never will. Because that specific time period in life was just crazy as it, as it is. That, I mean, that was literally an insane time of existence. Life was insane. It's nostalgic to look back at, and it's a nostalgic spot for everyone. But we can't gatekeep that because the lore and the concept is going to change over the years. And it's just unrealistic to keep it a certain way with how big and how expansive the internet is. Yes, I think those companies that try to benefit off of making the children's animations suck. Like, that's annoying. That's terrible. You know, they, targeting children for stuff is annoying. You know, taking a concept and putting stuff in it is annoying for sure. But that does not ruin the backrooms. It doesn't ruin the concept. The concept of everything that we enjoy and love about it is still there and is still being uh, at the forefront of our minds when we all make the new levels and create the new levels. It's an amazing thing. This, this collective fiction is crazy. Seriously, I, I enjoy so much just learning about everything. And if I find something that I don't enjoy, then I just won't look at it. You know, it's like you don't, you're not forced to look at the stuff that you don't like. But I promise you that you'll be able to find something that you enjoy if you, if you check out the wikis and check out um, the lore that's, that's been made. It's awesome. It's getting better. And it's becoming more and more centralized and, and less extreme in both ways. So in conclusion, the Backrooms is not ruined. And it's still the same amazing ARG and creepypasta that we all know and love. Some of us more than others. And even with the bad things, it is still amazing. I still love it. And on its worst day, it is still one of the most revolutionary and one of the most creative fiction projects that have ever been created on YouTube. And it still has a long road ahead. You know, the movies coming out from Kane Pixels, more found footages are coming out, more lore is coming out on all the wikis. Everything is just getting bigger and better on a bigger scale. And like I said, with that, you're going to get things that you don't like, and that's normal. But you can still find things that you do like and things that are still maintaining that original core idea or things that are still expanding into more ideas. It's all there, like everybody can find something. It's like Goldilocks with, with the porridge. Some people think it's too hot or too cold or right in the middle. You can find something that you all like here without saying the whole concept is ruined because it's not. The concept is still there, it's still amazing, it's still entertaining. Having different opinions is what makes the world go around. You know, if we all agreed on the same thing, the world would be pretty boring. It kind of suck, actually. But yeah. It's not ruined. It's cool. There are bad things. There are good things. It's still amazing to read about. It's still creepy. It's still terrifying to learn. It would be scary if I walked out of my door and got sucked into the ground into this infinite hellscape. Yeah, that's terrifying. That concept's still there. Leave your comments in the um, comments below. I want to see your opinions. If you agree with me, let me know. If you don't, also let me know. Keep it cool down there. We're all vibing here. This is just a cool little creepy pasta community ARG thing. This is amazing. I love and appreciate each and every one of you. And uh, I'll see you in the next Backrooms video I make.